This is an excerpt from the 4-Hour Workweek by Timothy Ferris, The Fat Man in the Red BMW Convertible. There have been several points in my life, among them dressed before I was fired from Trusan and dressed before I escaped the United States to avoid taking, it, taking an Uzi into McDonald's, at which I saw my future as another fat man in a midlife crisis BMW. I simply look at those who were 15 to 20 years ahead of me on the same track, whether a director of sales or an, entre or an entrepreneur in the same industry, and it scared the hell out of me. It was an acute phobia, and such a perfect metaphor for the sum of all fears, that it became a pattern interrupt between myself and lifestyle, fellow lifestyle designer and entrepreneur Doug Price. Doug and I traveled parallel paths for nearly five years, facing the same challenges and self-doubt, and thus keeping a close psychological eye on each other. Our down periods seemed to alternate, making us a good team. Whenever one of us began to set our sights lower, lose faith, or accept reality, the other would chime in via phone or email like an AA sponsor. Dude, are you turning into a bald fat man in a red BMW convertible? The prospect was terrifying enough that we always got our asses and priorities back on track immediately. The worst that could happen wasn't crushing, crashing and burning, it was accepting terminal boredom as a tolerable status quo. Remember, boredom is the enemy, not some abstract failure. Correcting course, getting unrealistic. There is a process that I have used and still use to reignite life or correct course when a fat man in the BMW rears his ugly head. In some form or another, it is the same process used by the most impressive new rich I have met around the world. Dreamlining. Dreamlining is so named because it applies timelines to what most would consider dreams. It is much like goal setting, but differs in several fundamental respects. 1. The goals shift from ambiguous wants to defined steps. 2. The goals have to be unrealistic to be effective. 3. It focuses on, focuses on activities that will fill the vacuum created when work is removed. Living like a millionaire requires doing interesting things and not just owning enviable things. Now it's your turn to think big.